the direction. I talked about the direction, right? So for me, direction is huge because not only are we trying to um, optimize everything that we just talked about in terms of like energy output and transferring on time, but when we're talking about transfer of energy, it's not just about the timing, it's about the direction, right? Where is this energy going for us, okay? And now with you, you're very similar to how I am, and this is something that I'm looking a little bit deeper into my own development, is you'll see this front side upon hand separation shoots out to counter rotate, or uh, to counterbalance yourself, right? So not saying, again, this is not me saying this is bad, but I just want you to see the series of events that occur after this. So this could be a, a, a mechanism that's maybe tricking your body into thinking that now you have to take this glove side away quicker at a quicker rate to get your hand in a slot, meaning you have to initiate trunk rotation either earlier or more accelerated at a faster tempo. So now as the, the hand comes up, now it's gonna start its pull to clear for this hand to come up. Okay, so now when you anchor down, you're pretty good. I would actually say that that's good, but now as your trunk rotation is gonna be completed, notice how this energy, of this rotational energy is pulling you pretty aggressive to glove side, which we see with the head. So it's great to build up a ton of rotational energy and store, and then as soon as we go to release that rotational energy, it's great, we talk about the timing, but if that is now being aggressively rotated, now you're pulling at ball release, you're pulling your trunk. So you're maybe only getting like 80% of that desired energy instead of you're only getting 80% because it's still pulling, right? So you're over rotating to clear from that, from that opening move. This is always tough when I screen for it because it could just be a compensation issue for, um, from lack of cervical rotation. Let me just throw that one out there. But when we, again, when we look at Scherzer, notice the direction of his energy is at front foot plant. Boom, now he's coming at you. So his head is actually gonna control the desired target. Boom, out front. And now he's late launch, chest over the lead, lead knee. And now his energy is going towards his task, right? And now he'll kind of spin off. But at ball release, this is all this stuff he's built up. Now we begin to transfer, on time transfer, drive leg, hip extension with the hand climb. Now he's transferring that in a linear fashion towards his desired target, which max, this, I mean, shoot man, when we talk about maximizing your freaking potential from a delivery standpoint, this is that. And so when I look at you, that just is something that kind of stuck out to me in terms of maybe we're kind of over aggressive with that rotation that's causing this little pull here. Because then you pull and then your head flies out. But.